Hey guys, so apparently um, I made a boo-boo and we had already done block 10. It was actually block four, the antique tile. We've already done it. Um, Peggy had messaged me and was like, um, I think we already did that one. And I thought, you know, it seemed familiar to me when we were putting it together, but I've done a lot of sampler quilts and I thought maybe I just did it somewhere else. I don't know. So today we're going to do the real block 10. I deleted the other video. I'll get this one this one will be uploaded and this will be the real block 10. If you're new here, we are doing a mystery star block of the month. In the very first video in this playlist, I go over measurements and how to put your star legs together to do the frame for your block that we're doing. And then we make little insert blocks that go on the very center. So it will look like this. These are your star legs. These will be the same every single month. Just the inside block will change. Um, and that's the mystery to make the mystery star. So if you need those directions or anything, just go back to the very first video in this playlist. And yeah, so what we are doing this month is the May, uh, I'm sorry, not the May, the basket block. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, let's go over what you're going to need. So you will need three fabrics for this one. You will need a background fabric. You're going to cut three, three inch squares two two inch squares and two two inch by three and a half inch rectangles that was a mouthful for your second fabric which will be the very bottom of your basket you're going to need one three inch square and one four and a half inch square for the top part of your basket which is going to be where this lighter blue is here you're going to need three two inch i'm sorry two three inch squares and one four and a half inch squares it's all in the pattern right there. Um, I don't even know why I read that off to you guys. I guess in case somebody couldn't download the pattern that you have, you can write this down as we go. But yeah, anyway, let's get into it and get this made. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our four inch squares. Oh, that's just pulled that thread right off of there. And we're going to make half square triangles with them. So I've got both of my four and a half inch squares. I've drawn a line from corner to corner diagonally. And we're going to sew on both sides of that diagonal line to create two half square triangles. So we'll just sew down one side. And then sew down this other side. Okay, so you should have it sewn down both sides. And we're gonna cut this in half and make our half square triangles. Okay, so you're actually only going to need one of these. You can set the other one aside for another project. Um, if you didn't want to, you know, have an extra one, you could just cut two triangles and sew them together, however you want to do it. I'm going to press mine open, and then we're going to trim this down. It needs to be trimmed down to three and a half inches. Let's see if I got that pressed open. And I am going to use my block locker ruler to trim this down to three and a half. I'm going to have to trim both sides here to get it even. I wonder why she called for such a big square. I didn't. I read through the pattern, but it didn't dawn on me that we were trimming these down so small. But either way, all right. So I've got that trimmed. So you should have. One like that. And this is going to be the top part of your basket and the bottom part of your basket. That's what um, this half square triangle is for. Okay, so now we're going to take our background three inch squares and our other three inch squares, the top part of our basket, and we're going to put them um, right sides together and make half square triangles. I am going to just fold and press a line in this instead of drawing a line. I hope I'm not missing a square, and I think I am. And then we've got our other three here, so I need to get one more square. But anyway, we're going to make six half square triangles out of these. So I'll go over this first one with you. So if you draw the line, either way, you just need to sew down a quarter of an inch away from that drawn line on each side. I would say a scant quarter of an inch. Um, that's what I've been doing, and it... It leaves me plenty of room to trim this down. But a 
inches. I think we're trimming these to two and a half inches. So I'm just going to take my scissors here and cut this right down the center, right on that line. And we will need to make four more of these to go along with these. Okay, so we are trimming these down. The pattern says two inches, so they're going to be little bitty. So I'm using my block lock. I've got a very small um, two and a half inch block lock here. So I'm just using that um, to trim these to two inches. I said two and a half uh, a little bit ago. I meant two inches. They're like probably some of the tiniest half square triangles I believe I've ever made. <laughs> they're the true miniatures. <laughs> but they're kind of cute like that. I don't know how many of these I would really want to make, but they're they're cute all right so you should end up with six which is what you will need to finish the ball okay so i misspoke um a, a little bit earlier and instead of redoing the whole video and recutting all this and redoing all that i'm just going to make a correction here you will need four of your top of your basket which mine is going to be the brown with your background of the two inch half square triangles then you will also need two with the bottom part of your basket and the background fabric um, yeah, for your block. So um, two that will match your darker color and four that match your lighter color for your upper part of your basket. I don't know. My brain today has just been nuts. So these are the pieces we should have. We should have four two, in, uh, two inch half square triangles with the top part of our basket and background. We should have one three and a half inch half square triangle that's got our bottom basket and top basket, two two inch background fabrics, two two inch by three and a half inch rectangles from our background fabric, and two half square triangles with our bottom basket and background fabric. Hopefully that did not confuse you guys. Like I said, I'm terrible about confusing myself. <laughs> so. Anyway, there is a layout in the pattern. She's got it all laid out here. Um, we're just going to sew this together. Um, I, I was going to say like an eight patch, but not really. Um, we're going to have to sew the sides onto our center block and then make rows. No big deal. It's going to be easy peasy. So I've got the top part of my basket going up. And in this corner, we're going to have a background square. Then the half square triangle going down this way, one going down this way, and then a background square there. And then on the sides of our, I take that back, that is not a background square, that is a rectangle. My bad. All right, so we've got one of our rectangles, the, color, the half square triangle with the bottom of our basket print going there. This one goes down here. Then our other rectangle goes over here. And this goes right up here, facing up to make our basket. It doesn't quite fit yet um, because we haven't got it sewn together, but, and this one goes, she's got it going down, okay. Okay, so there we go. So that's the basket. Okay, so I'm going to, it looks like we're gonna need to sew this row here together first. And then sew these two pieces together here. We can sew these pieces together here, these two here, and then attach them to our center. So we'll work on getting our center complete. So we need to take these two pieces. I'm gonna move all this to my sewing machine table and that way maybe you can see better. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two and sew them together first, and then we can attach that to the side of our middle half square triangle. So just line them up. They're pretty small, so just keep your seam as accurate as you can. And then I'm just going to finger press these open. All right, and so that goes there. So then I can attach that to my half square triangle here. And this is one of those blocks you may want to press um, with the iron in between just to make sure everything stays nice and flat and doesn't get crazy on you. All right, so that actually goes there. So I am gonna go ahead and press this right quick. Um, just, it's gonna, it'll help me to get my block going together 
<clears throat> and keep everything laying nice and flat. All right, so we can either attach these two and then do this row and attach these all here, however you want to do it. I'm going to start here at the bottom, put this one on the rectangle. Sew that together. All right, and press that open. So that will now fit there. And then I'm going to sew these three little units together. I am so sorry I confused y'all. I uh, I don't know what I was. I said some days my brain just it's just not feeling it. <laughs> I have no excuse, and I have no excuse for doing the video that we've already done. That was just crazy. Peggy messaged me and she's like, you know, we already did that block. And I was like, oh my goodness. Well, I said I'll do another one then. We'll get it. We'll get her straightened out. We're going to have extra blocks in this um, anyway, um, you know, besides the 20 that we are initially doing. So I'm just going to run an iron over this right quick. So that's nice and flat. Okay, so then those three are ready. So then we can attach this and make this a row. Y'all just been one of those months. that open and then this one goes here the other day I was sewing I had to rip out a whole bunch of stuff I sewed it all wrong and then I had some tone on tone white background and I sewed it all upside down and it was very noticeable More ordinarily I wouldn't have worried with it but it was very noticeable so all right so I got that little row done I'm gonna hit that with the iron right quick so that it's nice and flat so I'm gonna put it back here all right, we're getting there. So now we need to attach this bottom and top to this middle unit. And here we go. All right. Okay, and um, yeah, I think I'll just press it out. So then this goes on top of there. I like to keep everything right here and that way it's all lined up and I can just kind of keep track of it, I guess you could say. And make sure that I'm putting everything together right. If I have it laying over here to the side, if they're big blocks, it's not too bad. But if I have it right here where I can just... Put these back up here and visualize and look and make sure they're going to fit so <clears throat> now that we have these two onto this unit this should fit on there it looks like it's going to fit just perfectly now this little unit should come out six inch it should measure six inches finished or six and a half unfinished however it is that you like to say it to mention both ways because some people you know what makes sense to them is one way and what makes sense to, sense to somebody else is another way so anyway there we go all right we're done yay and it's all i don't have to do any seam ripping <laughs> so here's our little block so let's get it ironed and then we'll get our star legs added all right so i'm gonna start pressing this from the back just so i can get everything kind of going the direction that i want if you wanted to press your seams open, you most certainly could. If you wanted, because there's a lot of them back here. If you wanted to really try to get it really, really, really flat, that would definitely help. I'm good right here. All right. What a cute little block. I'm going to, let me see here. Six and a half. We're good to go. Yay. I got just one little wonky edge in here on the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about it. I can sew that in. Okay, so I've got my star legs. So, we got those go on the top. This goes on the side. That goes on the side. And this goes on the bottom. All right, there we go. Let's get her sewed together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add the sides to our unit. And you could, you know, if you wanted your basket going that way or that way, it's really not going to matter because the star legs are all the same and you could just turn the whole thing probably. Um, but however you want to sew it on there, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong way. Alrighty, and then 
this one is going to go on here. This was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I looked at all them little pieces and all the little half square triangles and I thought, oh my goodness, it's going to be a, it's going to be complicated, but it wasn't pretty easy. I think we did another, in our all seasons quilt, we did a May basket and I think it was a bigger basket, but I think we did a basket then. But it was just a bigger box. Alright, so I'm going to finger press these to the inside. Actually, I think I'm going to use my iron right quick and just go ahead and press those down. Um, it seems like if I do that, it seems like it works easier for me to get the block to go together. I don't know why, but it's like I can get my seams and everything to nest so much better. I don't know. Like I said, I just, it seems to work. I quit doing it there for a little while and then I've kind of gone back to it. Um, it just seems like I can put my blocks together better if everything's pressed. I see so many other sewists and they just, they look through them and they, their blocks come out perfectly and they don't ever press anything until the end and I'm like, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I guess maybe we get a little more experience, you know, I'm sure those other sewists have many, many years of more experience than I've got and I'm self-taught so I'm just having, I have to kind of learn all this as I go. on and then we will put our second one on and our block will be done again I, I am so sorry I cannot believe I didn't catch that oh I was embarrassed until you told me I thought oh my goodness you know and I've got a binder I keep everything separated so the blocks we've already done I put a check mark on them put the number on them in case anybody needs uh, to reference the pattern I know which pattern to go to and I keep them in a binder it's all separated so the blocks that, you know, are coming up are all in order. How I've missed that and overlooked it, I don't know. Anyway, I got a bonus video this week, this month, I guess. Okay, our block is done. How cute. What a cute little block. Let's get this pressed up. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little starch on it. Make sure my seams are... I'll go in the way I want them to go, and I'm pressing everything to the inside, um, just because there's so much bulk on these star legs that, and if you press them in, it seems like it's a little bit less. But you could do it either way. You could press them open, inside, outside, however, whatever your little heart desires. Now this, ooh, this fin, this whole block here should be 12 and a half unfinished or 12 inch finished is what it should measure. Cute, 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 cute. And there she is. How cute is that? Super cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, so <laughs> here we go on block 10. Again, this is the real one this time. The basket block. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I really deeply, sincerely apologize. And I also apologize about getting mixed up on the half skirt triangles um, a little bit earlier in the video. I just didn't want to recut and redo all of that work. Um, so I just did the correction afterwards. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your May. And I will see you next month for block 11 and 12. Hopefully they won't be repeats. Have a great day, guys.